Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds among heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. I think most people would probably figure if we were to make a checklist of the advantages and disadvantages you want in a fighter, superior hand speed would definitely be a big advantage. But you've trained many a guy who's been up against the guy with better hand speed. What have you told them? Well, I've told them that that's only one dimension. That's only one thing. Turn that against them. Make it a kind of place where they can't use it. Good block by Dynamite. To the head he goes with a left hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Dynamite. Now he's backing his man up against the ropes. things up a bit there that was a destructive counter punch he got hit by able to land another power shot early on here Teddy does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace no I don't think so if he keeps at this pace he's not gonna be around to worry <laughs> quick snapping hook and it does damage a little give and take and here comes the left hand last 10 seconds Dynamite's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. It's all yours, man. But you gotta keep working. Keep working, and this fight is yours. Don't get late. Here we go. Round two is underway. Hey, come on. Keep your hands up. Move, move. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Yeah, good work. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Come on, come on. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Dynamite's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Halfway through round number two. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Allen's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. Dynamite's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. What a hook by Allen. Dynamite's on the bad end of a... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. We come to the end of this round, and likely a much needed break for these two warriors because they have been non-stop. No, they don't know how to fight any other way. They came in, they introduced themselves in the middle of the ring, and they've been there all night. Committing to the body work now, he lands the right hand.
Allen's combination punching is working well here. Scored well up top. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Right to the belt line. Return to sender, he gives him back one of his own. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Jump on it, jump on it. Allen's tag. Fires right back at him. Round three comes to an end. Deep breath. Good job. Deep breath. You control. Three rounds in the books. Dynamite's in control. Teddy, he's up with a clean sweep on your scorecard. Yeah, and I like the way he's doing it. You know, he's making the guy come to him. He's making him miss, and he's scoring all the clean punches. And yet another big shot comes in. It was in his scope, and he pulled the trigger with that straight shot, scoring the knockdown. And he had a beautiful sight there. Allen's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the ropes. Kill some time. Make the referee come in between that's you okay, and break okay. you. Let it go. Let it go. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. The body kick. Locks that punch. How about that left hand? Dynamite's fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. Big shot. Wow! This is gonna take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. It's over. This fight is over. Allen's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance. He couldn't rise up and beat the count. Dynamite's power that we saw throughout the night, building a lead on your scorecard, now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next